Yo! What's up, everybody? It's Super Fly Fat Guy, 859, coming at you again. And I'm coming at you with a watch review from the, uh, the Freestyle Company, and it's the Navigator 3.0. Now, this is a watch that I've had for a little over a month, about about five weeks or so I got it from Blade Psycho you guys seen the unboxing and uh, I pretty much have had it on my wrist ever since um, just about every day I have it on whether I'm going anywhere or not I just I put it on I, I love this watch I think it's awesome it's super duper comfortable and um, well let me go ahead and, and open her up uh, this is how you get it or I, I assume this is how you would get it from the um, from the company that's what it says and one of the uh, one of the features anyway, um, it's got it's it's kind of like a pelican case sort of. It's uh, water seat or watertight. It's got these little tabs on it that you just kind of flip up and take off. It's like a small tackle box or something kind of. And then uh, you open it up. It's got this uh, cushion here, and then it comes in like this. And this is actually a really, really nice box. You can see that uh, it's got this rubber gasket around the edge here. So, I mean, you could use this for a multitude of other things um, after you get the uh, the watch out. So, that's pretty cool. Kind of a bonus item. It's got this little, um, this little handle on here. You can put your, you can put your lunch in there. You'd, awfully small lunch, though. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's show the watch here. Like I said, this is the Navigator... 3.0 let's check out some of the um, features here a hundred meters um, uh, water resistance can you see that very well it's kind of blurred to me uh, digital time digital compass uh, chronograph which is basically just a, a timer <laughs> three alarms I don't I don't use any of the alarms really I, I don't use most of this honestly but it's got it on there uh, timer with two intervals hydro pushers I, I still have yet to figure out what the hell that is uh, I'm not a watch knife or a knife I'm not a watch guy guys so um, uh, bear with me here uh, ro rotating top bezel polycarbonate case that's the, the lunch box <laughs> And uh, the durable silicon or silicone strap, and then limited lifetime warranty. Um, the thing that honestly that I'm most like thrilled about with this knife is this damn strap. So I actually want to talk about that first because I love this. Um, the first thing, well, it's a silicone, but at first I, I described it as a rubber. But it's really not at all. Um, and the best thing that I can give you an example of is those, um, like, I think they're called motivational bracelets. I could be wrong about that, though. But I think that's what they're called. Um, like, you know, the ones that have, like, Lance Armstrong and stuff like that on it. That's what this feels like. That's the kind of, of uh, material this is. It's very... Um, I wouldn't call it very pliable at all because it's it's still pretty damn rigid even though it's soft and supple at the same time. It's kind of weird. Uh, but on the outside here you have this texturing. this like diamond te texture. But then on the inside it's smooth. And the best way that I can explain this to you is like a latex glove that has that, that talc powder on it. That is what this feels like. It's super, super smooth. And unlike like rubber and stuff like that, it doesn't pull hair or or like get uncomfortable on the skin or anything like that. It's super duper smooth. It's really it's really awesome actually. But it does catch a lot of lint and stuff like that. So if that is a problem to you, maybe this isn't for you. But I can tell you this, the next watch that I buy will probably be a freestyle watch. And most likely have, or well, it will have, if I buy it from them, I'm going to buy one with one of these uh, bands on it because I love this band that much. That's what I'm most excited about, really. So if you would just want to turn the video off now, this watch is awesome. So go check it out. Um, we do have the timer here. There's, there's ye old camera. Everybody asks me what kind of camera I use. Sony Cybershot. And there's my hat. <laughs> but anyway, there's the time. Um, it does have this 
Now, okay, first thing I want to say is, um, I don't really know why, but this isn't, it's, it's really dark, okay? It's really dark, and, um, you know, if it's like low lighting out or anything like that, it's going to be really tough to see, and even with the, uh, whoa, watch it. Come on, camera, now I told you not to do them shots before this video. Camera's drunk again, guys, sorry. <laughs> um, and even with this, this illumination on it, well, it looks awesome there. So I guess this is going to make me out to be a liar. But it's actually like a really dim illumination. Um, but it is perfect when it is pitch black out. Like when it is absolutely, you can barely see in front of you, dark outside, this, the illumination is amazing. But what I found is you don't want to look directly at it. You get the best view by kind of canting it a little. Um, so if you look at it this way, it, it looks brighter than, than dead on. I don't know if that's, if that's like supposed to look like that or not, uh, but it does for me. So, um, let's see, what are, okay, there's the time too. So you can actually set two different times on it. Um, but I gotta be honest with you, this is kind of confusing if you don't, if you're not a watch guy and you're wearing it and then you're, well, at least for me, my fat wrists <laughs> hit this button and then you look down and you're like, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> you're like, what day is TM2 and I don't remember what, what? You know, what did I press? Oh my God. And it, this confused me for probably four hours one day. I had no idea what I did. I pressed the button. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But that's, that's how not of a watch guy I am. <laughs> so, um, this, okay, you have basically four buttons. And I believe in the instructions, uh, these are, they, they have like a number to them. Like S1, S2, S3, and S4, or S3 and S4, something like that. Um, and that's how you set everything on here. So this button here is actually what you do, or what you press to, um, to scroll through everything. And you have your, uh, your compass. So it's got like a digital compass. Okay, you have your stopwatch, and there we go, and you press it to, you know, on and off, whatever. Um, I don't even know what this is, no lapse, I, I have no clue what this is, I press the buttons, nothing hap happens, but then again, like I said, guys, I'm not a watch guy, so I don't know what this is, but no lapse, apparently I've done zero laps, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> timer okay this is um when you're 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 counting down so it'll count down for you from 10 minutes that's pretty cool and then uh there's other let's see there you go then we can start it all over and do it again then you have an alarm that you can set um i don't have it on you know i don't have it set there and then we go back to the time so for me really this is all i use um, the, 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 uh, compass would be, you know, would come in handy, the time, and then the illumination button, and that's really all I need. Um, all that other stuff is not stuff that I would personally be interested in, but you might be. So, it does have a, uh, spinning bezel here, which is pretty cool. Um, I really, that, I guess that would have to do with the compass and setting your, directions and stuff like that. I don't know. It's not, I, I'm kind of uh, weird. So I like North to stay North. I don't, I don't, I mean, when it even gets one clicked over, it kind of bothers me. I have to move it back. <laughs> so, uh, as far as the band, uh, one thing that I found is, man, you can have monster wrists and still, this will still fit you. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and put this on and show you, um, just what it looks like close up on my wrist. So there's, uh, there is eight holes in the in the uh, band here, and I use uh, the fourth one going down this way, or the fifth one coming up this way, whichever one you want to um, reference. Uh, this is stainless steel, the little doohickey here that holds it on, whatever that the clasp or whatever. Um, but this is, I mean, this is how it fits me. It, it's still kind of loose to uh you know for for movement and stuff so it doesn't cut my circulation off but i i have it on like i said i have it on the fifth hole so i mean like if you have a monster wrist 
maybe this is all watches. Like I said, I, the only other watch that I have is that Casio that was like 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, if you have a monster wrist, you could definitely wear this. And like I said, like I have fat wrists, so I mean, for this to fit me that well is awesome. So, um, basically the only thing left that I want to talk about is price. If you buy it directly from Freestyle, I think they're... Uh, retail price is $95, but I just found one on Amazon for $55.35, I think, and with, with free shipping. So it's very, very affordable. It's, um, it's not something, you know, I always hear about G-Shock. And I'm like, I don't have the money to spend on a G-Shock, and I'm really not a big watch guy. And now that I've had this, I don't see why I would ever buy a G-Shock, <laughs> because... I, unless unless G-Shock offers this band, um, then I'll, I'll probably never own one because I literally love this band. I think this band feels amazing. Now they have Freestyle is the maker of the Freestyle Shark, I believe, which is, I believe it's a woman's watch, but I think they they might make a man's watch, um, the Shark as well. But I could be wrong about that. But it's a very colorful, like if you're into like bright, vibrant, neon colors, um, women. They uh, they make a watch for you, so I would definitely check them out. But anyway, guys, that's I mean that's pretty much the end of my review. I don't really have a whole lot to say except for the fact that I love this watch. This thing is awesome, um, and if I buy another watch, I will I will probably buy a Freestyle and buy one with the silicone uh, band on it. So uh, the only other thing that I, I do want to mention before I cut off of here. If you get this and you're like, how the hell do I set the time and all that, and it's driving me nuts, um, this little deal here actually has the books and stuff hidden inside of it. And it's got every language uh, that you could, well, maybe not every language, but it's it's got a bunch of languages, however many that is, like 10 or something. And then it's got like an owner's manual and stuff in here. Um and some other you know paperwork but I, I did i definitely wanted to point that out because i started searching online trying to figure out how to set the time and stuff and i was like man there's got to be a booklet or something in here and sure enough it's in this little triangle deal that pushes out so uh if you get this watch that's where it's at so all right guys if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and everybody take her easy